Jennifer Harmon is a poet who was born and raised in New Mexico, currently residing in Astoria, Queens. Inspired by her late mother, Patty, also a writer, Jennifer's goal is to share their story with the world. Her work is heavily influenced by personal relationships with family and friends as well as the atmosphere of the Southwest Desert and the East Coast. Although she misses the hot enchiladas and the enchanting pastel pink and orange sunsets of New Mexico, she has formed a rich and rewarding life in New York. I'm sorry. In New York City, excuse me. Entwining her mother's writing with her own, Jennifer's poetry readings provide a unique and very often moving experience. Jennifer Harmon. Yeah. I will read a poem. The nature, the nature of our times, the nature of our crimes, times nine. Nature, nurture green in the spring, in summer, a cascade of color, in fall, leaves dipped in change, in winter, she wears snow's frigid cloak. Our nature's canvas paints pictures in black and white with biased brush and slaughter stained palette. Nature's soil, fervently fertile, needs only to be seeded. Our nature, the soil we seed in, breeds blighted gardens. Nature's atonal ear hears every growl, every roar, every tweet in but one simple key. Our nature hears dissonance and distortion in the key of disdain and derision. Nature celebrates the wisdom of the church bell. I am my brother's keeper. Our nature, with heavy, crusted hearts, celebrates the tolling of exclusion. Nature's ballroom floor, polished to perfection, reflects the waltz of verities. Our nature, shoes, our nature's shoes, scar the ballroom floor. Excuse me. As we dance around the truth. Nature choreographs death and renewal, a pati de of celebratory steps. Human nature graciously, carelessly, hatefully choreographs steps of death. Nine black dancers, their final position still, their music silent, but for the roar of encore, encore, encore. Metaphor alone is insufficient. It is not laden with the sting of reality, does not weigh heavily on the conscience. June 19th, 2015, USA Today. This morn, on a day to be mourned, a mass shooting took place at a historic Emanuel Church in Charleston, South Carolina. The nine people killed were attending a weekly Bible study class. The next of kin, as well as the city, are shattered. At this time, there are no known survivors. The confessed executioner, Dylan Roof, has been caged, awaiting trial. Reverend Clemente Pinckney, 41 significant year, years, pastor Emanuel Church, 
South Carolina State Senator, a life of commitment on many levels, torn from his family, a community torn from his family, the community will not heal. The scars will reach beyond memory. Tawanza Sanders, age a mere 26, recent graduate with degree in business administration, robbed of the gift of tomorrow. His blooming had just begun. Myra Thomas, 59, years of sharing, beloved wife of Reverend Anthony Thompson, Bible study teacher, a beloved book closed. She offers her knowledge no more, leaves her faith behind. Reverend Sharonda Singleton, 45 of bridged years, revered mother of three, school speech pathologist, pathologist high school track and field coach, finish line distance for her children and mentees, mentor missing. Reverend Daniel Simmons, senior, 74, wisdom-filled years, retired pastor, Bible study teacher, love of God in his every breath, his faith bled out on the operating table. Susan Jackson, 87 years of 87 worshipful years, one son and a loving grandmother, church sexton, edifice keeper, water keeper, the bells toll. She toils no more. Cynthia, Cynthia heard. 54 years of accomplishment, master's degree in library science, devoted wife, manager of Charleston County Public Libraries, foster mother of books, the book's words orphaned. The pain Middleton doctor, 49 years bathed in love, Four daughters, college administration coordinator, four loving hearts, left the drift, the wash in sorrow. Ethel Lee Lance, 70 celebratory years young, loving mother and grandmother, loving mother and grandmother, Emanuel Sexton Church. Her selfless caring will not be lost. Her nurturing imprint will never fade. Thank you. I forgot my job. Okay. Melissa Lewis is a native of Northeastern Pennsylvania. Melissa has spent most of the last 15 years moving back and forth between her two favorite cities, New York and New Orleans. After nearly eight years in the South, Melissa has only recently returned to New York City. In her previous life here, her poetry publications included several literary websites such as wildpoets.com and the feature date as far as 2002. Features date back to 2002 with the Saturn series in the East Village. This is Melissa's first reading since coming back to New York. Welcome back to New York, Melissa. Woo!